Hello, and welcome to the Resource Library Presentations, produced by the NCC's Comprehensive Digitization and Discoverability Program. In this video series, generously funded by the Toshiba International Foundation, the NCC's CDDP Task Force highlights projects that are making digital images accessible in new ways. Each presentation discusses the project's content and purpose, how to use the site, and which tools were used to build it. We hope that these videos inspire and support those using images in their work or who plan to digitize their own collections. In this video, I would like to show you how to use the My Note function of Japan Search. My Note is a function provided by Japan Search to promote the use of content. You can create an annotated list of your favorite items, galleries, and search results in your own space, your note, and edit it in the editor. You can export your note in various formats, such as CSV, Excel, JSON, you can also embed your note as a web component on external websites. My note is saved in the browser cache, so anyone can use it. You don't need to register with Japan Search first. For example, even someone without knowledge of web design methods can use My Note as a bookmark to record items to create and share a collection of items that they found interesting. Now, let me introduce how to use My Note. Let's go to the top page of Japan Search. First, let's use Cross Search to search for Haniwa. In the results, there are various types of materials. To add items in your note, Please click the heart icons of the items on the search results page. To add the entire search results to your note, please click note search results at the bottom of the search results page. To see the list of items you added in your note, click the note icon in the upper right corner of the screen. The default name is Initial Note. When you click, you will see the items you added to your note, either with the heart icon or through the list of cross-searched items. Next, let's cover how to edit my note. It is possible to edit the contents that appear in the middle of the screen. In the My Note page, you can edit your note by using the editor. The editor has three modes available. You can change the mode from the menu change mode in the upper right of the screen. The default mode is note mode. The simplest note mode allows you to add your favorite items to a single list. In note mode, you can change the name of your note at the top of the page. You can add a note by clicking on the pencil icon under the title and under each entry. You can also change the appearance or display format of the list by clicking on the icons in the upper right of the list. You can also sort the items by dragging them in the outline slash sort menu on the right side of the screen. Note mode is suitable for use as a bookmark. Next, let me introduce simple mode. 
In simple mode, you can add text boxes and create multiple lists of items. As you can see, you can add either Japanese or English. If you highlight the text, you can format it as you like, such as changing the text color, size, etc. You can add metadata, galleries, databases, and organizations that collaborate with Japan Search and search results in the list. You can search them from the, the editor of My Note page and add them to the list directly without clicking the heart of the search result page. Let me introduce a few. First, click on Metadata. The search results page within the editor appears. Do the same search as the cross search and then select the items you want. You will see the items you choose appear at the bottom. When you are ready, click confirm and you will see them appear on a list like this. You can also add all the results of a search. You can choose either to add the results of the metadata search or gallery. Here we enter keywords as the search limits. We got 62 results and we can add them all. Alternatively, you can add an external link. For example, enter the link's title and the URL. As an example, let's add the Yoshinogari History Parks website. After you add the title and URL, click OK and it will appear along with the metadata earlier selected. To remove an item from a list, please click the X mark of the item. You can delete an entire text box or list from the More menu, the three dots, on the right side of that section. In simple mode, you can undo and redo your work using the arrows at the top right of the screen. You can also preview your note by clicking on the eye icon at the upper right corner of the screen. You can close the preview mode with the X on the top right. Next, let me introduce full mode. In full mode, all the parts are available and high level editing becomes possible. In addition to the text box and list, which were also available in simple mode, some additional parts, including image, search box, in which you can embed arbitrary search expressions, annotated image, and timeline. You can also set headlines for the sections and create an index of them. For more information on how to use these parts, please refer to the Manual of Japan Search, but I will show you some of them in this video. First, I will show how to use the image part. This is a part that you can display images with captions. There are various patterns for display of images with captions. If you click on the gray section, a variety of options for choosing the images appears. You can choose images from not only the content linked to Japan Search, 
but also from external websites by specifying the URL of the images or the IIIF manifest. For example, I will explain how to embed an image from the Tokyo National Museum image search, which is not linked to Japan search. By specifying an image URL, first copy the URL of the original image and input it to the Japan search select image section. If the image comes from an external site, enter the title and source and the source URL. Please check the use rules for the image. Looking at the original site, we see that this one falls within the CC by NC. Enter the source and the rights information of the image, including the relevant link, and cut the margins of the image from the Snip tab. Select Free Proportions and drag to select the section that you want. Finally, enter a caption and note to the image. Making use of this image part, you can create a work interweaving the content of Japan Search and content from external sites. Next, I'll introduce the timeline part. This part allows you to create a timeline of a length of your choice and put events and related materials on it. First, enter a title for the timeline. For example, here let's enter Kojiki and Nihon Shoki as the title. Next, you decide the length of the timeline by entering the beginning and the ending year. For example, from 6.30 to 8.10. To add the event or related materials, click Add Time Point and set the year and write an explanation. For example, enter Kojiki completed and 7.10. Click OK, and you will see it on the timeline. Let's add another. Nihon Shoki completed. 720. Click OK. If the labels for the time points overlap, you can change the label height of them by using the Edit Time button. In addition, you can add a description or a list of related materials in each time point or time span. For example, here I want to add a list of Nihon Shoki materials owned by the National Diet Library. Click on the point and then under Description, choose Add a Part and select List and within list, click plus and select from metadata results. Limit to items held by the National Diet Library. You can add a description. and 
when you press preview, the time points are displayed on the timeline like this. And when you click the time point, explanations and documents that you entered are displayed. Finally, I will show you the annotated image part. This part allows you to specify the part of the image and add an annotation. First, select an image. Here, I selected Nanso Satomi's Hakkenden from the contents available through Japan Search. Select the page by entering the page number or by selecting from a list. Then press Add Annotation button below the image and select the part of the image to add the annotation. Write the annotation in the space below in the title and explanation section. You can add multiple annotations on the image. When previewing, there is a frame on the image like this, and when you click on the frame, a description is displayed. That is all for the annotation function. In order to export the MyNote that you have created, select Export from the menu at the upper right corner of the screen and select the format. For example, you can select web part. Code of the note will be displayed. You can copy and paste it to your site or blog to display it. You can also import JSON files if that you had previously created on Japan Search and exported, or other MyNote, or another MyNote into the note where you are currently working. To import data to the note, select Import from the menu and select the data to import. This time, I import JSON data which I have previously created on Japan Search and exported in JSON format at the end of this note. When you return to the edit screen, you will see that the data I selected has now been imported. You can create multiple My Notes. To create my, a new My Note, click the plus sign in the menu on the left side of the screen. Enter the title of My Note and click OK. To delete the note, select the note and click the minus sign. From the menu on the right of the minus sign, you can sort the notes that you created or delete them all. You can switch the primary note from the note icon in the upper right corner of the screen. When you click 
the heart icon of the item in the search results page, it is stored in the note set to the default note here. Here are some things to keep in mind when using this function. As I mentioned earlier, my note is saved in the cache of the browser. So if you delete the cache, my note will be deleted also. Be careful not to delete the cache while you're working. To avoid your My Note disappearing, you can export it in JSON format when you stop working and import it again when you resume working. Similarly, if you want to work on your note on a school PC and then work on it on your home PC, you should export it in JSON format when you're working at the school and import it again on your home PC. In addition, please change the editor mode first. If you change the modes from more complex to less complex, such as from full to simple or simple to note, the parts you entered may not work well. We hope that you will use my note for your own research and publication of your research results. If you have any questions or requests, please feel free to contact us using our inquiry form. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the presentation. We hope you found it useful. Please check other videos in the CDDP presentation library.